name is Tori, this is Nova Life, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am reacting to your favorite books of the year. So far, as you may know, we're almost to July, which is the middle of the year, which still can't believe, but summer is summering here, it is hot, and I am ready to talk about some of your favorite books of the year. I will say, some of these books, I already sneaked in a little peeky peek. Some of these books are also some of my favorites, so I'm very excited to chat about them. Before we dive into the video, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that's Ana Luisa. You guys know I've worked with Ana Luisa in the past, and I actually really enjoy their jewelry. Anytime I'm wearing jewelry minus my wedding ring, I am wearing Ana Luisa. I personally love the soft and dainty pieces, but I also love some of the more bolder pieces. So this time, when they asked to send me some jewelry, I picked some more dainty pieces because... I don't know that was that's just what I was in the mood for so I do have this little Sun necklace it's actually like a Sun with, with like a white stone in the middle I personally really enjoyed this I actually got all of this stuff right before I left for book bonanza and I wore all of these pieces while I was there it is really high quality I mean I was assisting a book bonanza so I was moving books I was moving around a lot and they all complemented my outfit so well I did get two gold bracelets this time so I got this like link one which I do have a separate link one from Ana Luisa, but I like this one because it has little stones on this link. It's like two linked together, which I thought was cute. And this one is more just like a, uh, not dainty, but more of like a statement piece. You technically could wear this one by itself. They complement each other really well, so I wear them both together. That's how I wore them at Book Bonanza. And I did get this ring, so I do like some rings to wear on my right hand. That's not, and I wear it like this. This one's a size six, so it wouldn't actually fit on my finger, but I actually liked, I like wearing it like this. Um, I've seen some people wear like, you know, like rings, but like just at the top. I mean, I could wear it on my pinky. I really like Anna Luisa's jewelry one because they all look so nice. You can find anything for yourself starting at just $39. All of their pieces come in like this super cute little box and they're all shipped like eco-friendly wise and they all come with these eco-friendly packaging which I, I love so much. Like I actually use these when I travel. I put my jewelry in here and I travel with them so I love that they send those as well. They're kind of like reusable bags. If you are anywhere in the U.S. they have free shipping and if you ever need to exchange something you can do it at no cost for shipping to you. They will send it back and replace it or exchange anything for you. And they do have a two year warranty, which I will say I've been working with Anna Luisa for a while and all of my pieces I've worn constantly. I don't know if you guys know, but I wear the little pink stone gold necklace all the time. One, cause pink's my favorite color and it goes with a lot of my outfits, but I've worn that of a lot and I've traveled with it and it still is in like perfect condition. So I'm a big fan. Of Ana Luisa. That's why I work with them and I consistently work with them because I do enjoy their brand. I do like that Ana Luisa has the planet in mind as well when shipping and doing all of that stuff with their company. Now you can click the link in the description box below to get 30% off your order. 30% off of your order, okay? So click the link in the description box below. It'll take you to Ana Luisa's website. You can pick out anything and you'll get 30% off. But once again, thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into some of your favorite books of the year. Now the first one I'm very excited to chat about because it's also one of my favorites, The Women by Kristen Hanna. So I loved this book. I read it back in February and this has still stayed on my mind and not a lot of books do that. When I give a book five stars usually it sticks on my mind and this one definitely has. I love this. It's a historical fiction book and our female character you see that she's just trying to do something different with her life. She doesn't want to be a housewife you know back in like the 60s during the Vietnam War. She wants to go out and be a part of it and be a part of this movement and like do what she can. So she applies for the military and they ship her off to be a nurse in Vietnam and that's where she realizes that a lot of the things that was told to the public um, is not actually what's going on in Vietnam. So it is very gruesome, it's very brutal, but this tells like a very important story. And I always say this too, with this book, it shows like human connection, how in a situation you can just connect with another person and have like a moment in time where like that person is your everything. And I really, really, really enjoyed this. So it's like friendships, romance a little bit. It definitely tells a really um, important part of time. Um, so yeah, I am so glad that you also love this as your favorite book of the year because it's definitely one of mine. Now, someone said, um, Caught Up by Liz Tom Ford. I read this last year and I don't know if it made it on my top books of the year. I'm pretty sure it did. Um, but this is my favorite so far in this series. This is a single dad, kind of nanny, forced proximity, and baseball found family. They have literally all the tropes in here and this book made me cry. 
to the point where I wasn't even expecting to cry and I did so yeah if you were looking for just like a solid single dad nanny like forced proximity female character you can relate to she's going through a hard part in her life where she's trying to figure out what she wants to do with her life yeah I, I understand why that is also your favorite book because it's one of my favorites last year. And speaking of favorite books of last year, this is one of my all-time favorite books. All time. Not just last year, this year. All-time favorite books. Redeeming Six by Chloe Walsh. I... Oh, Y'all, I can talk about this, this book so much. You guys have no idea what this book means to me. I mean, you probably do if you watch my channel, but if you're new here, hi, I am a Joey and Aoife stan. I love Redeeming Six. My favorite book out of the whole Boys of Toman series, one of my favorite books of all time. Just the way that Chloe Walsh writes characters and what they do and their emotions and their, oh, just everything that goes inside their heads is just beautiful and absolutely perfection. I love, I love this book so much. So I'm very happy that that is one of your favorites. Now I will say, some of the ones that popped up quite a bit is all of the Rena Kent books. God of Fury, God of This, the God Legacy of God series, all of all of the Rena Kent books that came up multiple times. And I will say, if you were looking for me to read these Rena, Rena Kent books, they are not for me. I've tried Rena Kent now three times, and three separate times I have just not vibed with her writing. I am so sorry to tell you I am not a Rena Kent girly, but if you love these books and they're your favorite books of the year. I'm so happy for you. I am so happy that you found a book that you enjoy so much that you just want to talk about it and just rave about it to everyone because I feel that way about some of my favorite books. So while I, it is not for me, I'm glad that you found some of your favorite books with the, with the Rena Kent series because I know it's popping off. Another one that I read this year that's not like, it's a five-star read. I just don't know if it's going to make it on my top books of the year. That's Glow of the Everflame by Penn Cole. So this is the second book in this series. And this is the one where the slow burn romance hits and our hero Luther hits and just everything just hits in this book so right. And it was such, everyone I've talked to, everyone I talked to who read Glow of the Everflame says it was a five, it was, says it was a five star read. They absolutely loved it. They absolutely enjoyed the ride. Glow was a slow burn fantasy romance. It was very good. Um, so I'm, I'm so glad you have read it. Now, I haven't heard the best things about the third book in the series, but when the fourth book comes out and more people start reading it, I will continue on with the series so I can read like the last two books back to back and be done with this series if you know what I mean. So the next one someone said which actually kind of surprised me is Shadows of You by Katherine Cowles. Now I love Katherine Cowles. I really love her writing. Um, this one showed up and I was surprised because this one came out last year but I have to remember that not everyone reads like new releases and are on top of it like I am. So this was my favorite book in the Lost and Found series until I read Ashes of You. Shadows of You and Ashes of You are like tied for my favorite book Ask me tomorrow and it'll switch back and forth. But I really love this one. I loved the single mom in this book. I loved how our hero Roan was just so protective of both of them right off the bat. The little like ballerina ballet scenes oh, that she does ballet and he goes and helps. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for this. Now, another one that's actually one of my favorites of the year as well is One Dark Window. I'm so happy more people are reading this duet. Now, um, I feel like this is a very atmospheric duet. It has a lot of tropes, but the best thing that I can describe this book as is gothic fantasy. Gothic fantasy. That That's my, that's my, like a new trope for me that I discovered this year with this book, and I am living and thriving. I have a whole list of books I want to read in this subgenre, trope, whatever you want to call it. I loved it. I love the atmosphere. I love the way that it was told. I love the twists and turns. I love like the darkness of this book because gothic obviously means it's dark, but also there's like some darkness in here that I really love. So I'm so happy this was also one of your favorites because this will be on my top books of the year. I, I know it will. Some people said some books that I have not heard of, so I'm just gonna mention them. Ready or Not by Cara Bastone. I actually have heard of this book, but I don't really read Cara Bastone. I feel like she's more women's fiction-y and she's not gonna be for me. Um, I could be wrong though. I could be totally wrong. Someone said To Catch a Flower Firefly by Emmy Sanders. Another person said A Promise of Perdo, which I have read A Dawn of Onyx, I just haven't continued on with this series. Someone said Seducing Lauren by Kristen Proby. I've actually never read a Kristen Proby book, so I'm glad you enjoy it. I do know that Kristen Proby is like romantic suspense small town, so I feel like if you're a fan of Catherine Cowles, you might like Kristen Proby, maybe? 
Um, someone said Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. I've read one book by Lynn Painter and I thought it was adorable. And I do want to read more when I'm in the mood for like those that type of writing because she writes very specifically, but I'm glad you loved it. This book made me giggle because I read this quite a while ago, but it was After the Fall. Someone said I loved this book and I stopped by reading it. So After the Fall is the fourth book in the Fallen Men series. This is like the leather hardback editions that she had for sightings. And this is the continuation of Cressida and King's story. So you have to read these in order. And I understand why this book broke you so badly because if you know, you know. I can't say what it is because it'll spoil it. But if you know, you know. Another one that some people said was Fourth Degree by Nikki Castle. You guys should know me. Listen, I'm a Nikki Castle stan, okay? I'm like literally her biggest fan. I fangirl over her every single time I talk to her and every single time I meet her, I love her so much. But this is also one of my favorite books of the year. I gave this book five stars. I also cried for reading this. I will say, if you're an older sibling, and you read this book, you'd understand why I cried in this book. But I love the age gap. I love the found family. The found family has to be like literally also one of my favorite parts of this series. So if you haven't read anything by Nikki Castle, pick up this series. This is the fifth book. You can read them out of order, but they all follow this like found family surrounding an MMA gym. You guys know how I feel about my fighters, y'all. My fighters. Now this one actually made me so happy, okay? Unconditional by QB Tyler. So I feel like out of all of QB Tyler's books, this is probably one of her most underrated books. I'm not gonna lie. I really love this book. This is like a guardian ward. He is like a, I think he's like a first responder. I don't know if he's a police officer or a cop or something, but he responds to this situation where this little girl I want to say she's like in her teen, like 10 or something like that, 11, 12 maybe. Um, but she is like, you know, put in this horrible situation. He saves her from that. And he, she's lived with him. So yes, this is very, very taboo. And I actually really enjoyed this story so much. It's not everyone's favorite, but I'm so glad that you enjoyed it because this is like an underrated one by QB. I read this like two years ago now. And I have like two or three editions of this book because I loved it so, so much. Now, a lot of people said Fragile Sanctuary by the Queen Catherine Cowles. I will say this. This book by Catherine Cowles is one of my all-time favorites um, out of all of her books that I've read because I just feel like the way that she wrote this with Anson and Roe, I don't know what, why she wrote it this way or like what she did differently, but it just hit really well. Like from page one to the end of the book, I just was in love with every moment and I could not stop reading it. So I'm so glad so many other people love it as well. Another one that I am so happy to see is Burnout by Rebecca Jinchak. This one, actually, I was at Book Bonanza with her assisting her because I am her PA. And so many people were like, oh my God, I've been seeing this book everywhere. Or, oh my God, this is my first book by her. Um, I loved it so much and I am so happy to hear that. So if you've read this book and you enjoyed it, I am so glad you enjoyed it. This will also be one of my favorite books of the year too, just because I love these characters so much. And Playbook, which is the second book, comes out in July and you guys are not ready. Not ready, okay. Some other ones that I just want to mention that I haven't read or I have read, I just don't have physical books for, just for the summer by Abby Jimenez. Of course, I feel like that's going to be on a lot of people's top books of the year. Same thing with Funny Story by Emily Henry. Funny Story. I actually cried in Funny Story <laughs> while I was getting my nails done and while I was doing housework. I cried twice. Yes, yes, I did. Um, someone also said this Bones Beneath My Skin by TJ Klune. So I've only read two books by TJ Klune and it was a uh, wolf song, that series. Um, but I'm so glad. I know a lot of people love TJ Klune's writing, so that makes me really happy. Someone said A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed. So this is, I thought was a dark academia book. It is not a dark academia book, but I had a good time reading it. It's more like YA. Um, so I'm so glad you loved it. And the last one that I actually have on my Kindle right now that I, I want to get to, when will I get to it? I don't know. That is Puck Block by S.J. Silvis. This is the third book in her series. And I have enjoyed the other two books. I just have not gotten caught up. It's a hockey romance series. I mean, as you can tell from the title. But yeah, I'm so happy that you guys have been loving such like a wide range of books too. Like we have historical fiction to gothic fantasy to fantasy romance to contemporary to romantic suspense to sports romance to forbidden to taboo. All like all the things in between. So if you sent in a book, thank you so much for sending it in. I would love to do this reacting to your favorite books of the year towards the end of the year as well. So if you guys like to see it, let me know in the comments down below. Once again, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is Ana Luisa. Once again, check out the link in the description box below to get 30% off of your order. You can let me know if you want to pick anything up. But for the emoji for this video, drop me a ring emoji, like a diamond ring emoji, because I'm actually really enjoying this ring that I have on. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content for me. As always, I hope you're living a novel life, and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.